please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. So here is MULN, Mullen Automotive. This finishes at $1.24 today. That is up 16.98%. So once again, we're going to talk about MULN. Been talking about this for over a week now, since this squeezed last week. Pulled back, and then we had two big green days here. So this may have bottomed out, hopefully. But yeah, this was trending very high up on stock twits today. So once again, we will analyze it. So no company specific news to justify this price action. It just seems like shorts are starting to cover and apes piling in here. Still a lot of social media momentum. So let's go ahead and analyze here. So first of all, we have this gap down back at 1190. That is a bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back up to 1190 at some point eventually to fill this gap. May take a while, but eventually that should fill. And then back here at 465, there's another gap down. So another bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should eventually come back up to 465 to fill that gap. And then this looks like a big cup and handle in the making. Bottom of the cup being 52 cents, the low. And there are multiple possible tops. It could be 190, 360, 570, 740, 9 dollars, 980, 1070, 1180, or even the high of 1590. Although I do think the most realistic tops would be 190 or 360. Doesn't really matter where the top is for right now. Those are all bullish indicators that is telling us that the stock should eventually come back up to one of those tops to complete the cup. And then we do have a gap up back at 62 cents so that's a bearish indicator that is telling us that the stock may come back down to 62 cents to fill this gap now at this point that does look unlikely but still possible so be aware of that guys and if you guys want to follow along the link to the chart is in the description down below so right now this is trading between the sideways channel the rectangle of 136 and 113 so if this goes to the upside next levels of Resistance would be 136, 170, 189, 223, 257, 272, 291, and then 322. There is resistance above 322, but we're not going to discuss that right now. And if this goes to the downside, next levels of support would be 113, 98 cents, 75 cents, 60 cents, and then the low of 52 cents. So right now at this current price, 124, the channels to the upside and the downside are very wide. So expect significant price action either way this goes. However, if slash when this breaks 257 to the upside, the channel starts to narrow. So expect a significant decrease in price action if slash when this breaks 257. And to the downside, if slash when this breaks 75 cents, the channel starts to narrow. So expect a significant decrease in price action if slash when this breaks 75 cents. RSI is currently at 42. So that is a little bit below average there. So according to the RSI, the current price of 124 should be a little bit higher. And this did 211 million in volume today. Very significant volume. So this pump today was confirmed by the volume. All right, guys, just my opinion, not financial advice. So long term, this does look like a pretty good buy. We got some very strong bullish indicators, double gap down, huge cup and handle, and below average RSI. So a lot of upside potential here in the long term. This does appear like this bottomed out at around 75 cents. Caught some pretty strong support there. This may go back up to 190 in the short term to complete this little cup over here. So it is starting to look bullish in the short term here. Although this gap up at 62 cents is still pretty scary. So this still has the potential to go back down to 62 cents. But it looks unlikely at this point. But still possible. A lot more bullish indicators than bearish indicators. No neutral indicators. So overall, the chart does look pretty bullish in the short and long terms. So therefore, if you want to go long, not financial advice. 124 is a pretty decent entry. This may pull back in the short term. There's a gap up at 62 cents, so this may pull back down to 62, which is pretty scary. But if you're in it for the long term, that shouldn't concern you too much. Again, this should come back up to 465 and 1190 at some point to fill those gaps. So yeah, a lot of upside potential over a 1000% gain here. That is possible if this fills at 1190. You missed a lot of upside already in the past two days. You missed the possible bottom, but still a lot of upside potential in the long term. So 124 is still a pretty good entry. Still a little bit undervalued according to the RSI. So I would support going long at the current price 124 and lower. If it pulls back, then you can just average down at the supports that I mentioned before. And we do have this little cup and handle here. So this may come back up to $2 in the short term. Now, if you want to go short, not financial advice. Personally, I would not do that. And I would not recommend that. 
it could pay off pretty big, but there is a good amount of risk involved with that. So again, gap up at 62, and that would be a 50% downside at the current price. But this looks like it caught some pretty strong support at 75. I would say 62 is kind of unlikely at this point. This is already at a relative low. So I would say going short here would be a high risk, high reward play. Could work out if it does come back down there. A lot of tendies to be made, but this is still a really popular stock right now. A lot of apes like it. So if this keeps running to the upside, you can easily get squeezed out here and get burned. So it's too risky for my liking, but it could pay off pretty big if this does in fact pull back down to 62. So high risk, high reward, I wouldn't do it. But if you guys want to do it, then please do that at your own risk. But yeah, it looks like the bleeding is done for this stock. Got pretty bad there for a moment, but looks like it's finally recovering. In the short and long terms, it does look pretty bullish. So pretty straightforward here, guys. Long term looks like a good play. Short term, this may pull back down to potentially 62, but unlikely. So I don't think shorting is a great idea, but it could pay off. Risky though. So congratulations to everyone who made money in the stock today. And good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is MULN, Mullen Automotive. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. You apes already know, diamond hands to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.